good. You shall see none to fear. I, a good Lenten answer, that can tell thee where that saying was born of, I fear no colors. Where, good mistress Mary? In the Lord's. And that may you be so bold to say in your foolery. Well, God give them wisdom that have it, and those that are fools, let them use their talents. You are resolute, sir. Not so, neither. But I am resolved on two points. Ah. That if one break, you have a hole. Or if both break, your guessings fall. Act, in good faith, very act. If Sir Toby would leave to drink me, that worked as witty a piece of used flesh as any in Illyria. Peace, you rogue, no more of that. Here comes my lady. Make your excuse quite wisely. Your best you might behave. Farewell. Quit and it be thy will, put me in good fooling. For those wits that think they had me, who are proof fools. And I, that I'm sure I lack thee, may pass for a wise man. For what sake were not wit? Better a witty fool than a foolish wit. God bless you, lady. Take the fool away. Did you not hear, fellows? Take with you. Don't you, you are thriving. I'll no more of you. Besides, he grow dishonest. Two faults, Madonna, the drink and good counsel of men. Forgive the dry little drink. The fool's no longer dry. If a dishonest man mends himself. If he mend, he is no longer dishonest. If not, let the botcher mend him. Anything that is mended is but patch. Virtue that transgresses is but patch with sin, and sin that amends is but patch with virtue. If the simple syllogism will serve, so. If not, what remedy? As there is no true cuckold but calamity, so beauty is a fire. The lady bade take away the fool, therefore I say again, take her away. <laughs> I bade him take away you. Miss Prison in the highest degree, the lady cuckulous non fastened marshal. That's as much to say as I were not motley in my brain. Good Madonna, give me leave to prove you fool. Can you do it? Dexterously, good Madonna. Make your proof. I must catechize you, Forge Monada, my good mouse of virtue answer me. Well, for want of other idleness, I'll buy the proof. Good Madonna, why mournest thou? Good fool, for my brother's death. I believe his soul's in hell, Madonna. I know his soul is in heaven, fool. The more fool mourning your brother's soul being in heaven. Take away the fool. <laughs> Shall do till the pains of death shake her. Infirmity that decays the wise doth ever make a better fool. Now God send thee a speedy infirmity for better increasing your folly. Sir Toby will be sworn that I am no fox, but he will not pass his word for two pence that you are a fool. What say you to that, Malvolio? I marvel your lady should take delight in such a barren rascal. I saw her put down the other day with an ordinary fool that have no more brain than a stone. But you know, she's out of her guard already. Unless you laugh and minister occasion to her, she is dead. I protest I take these wise men that crow so at these set kinds of fools no better than the fool's saying. Oh, you are sick of self-love, Malvolio, and taste for the distempered appetite. In order to be generous, guiltless, and a free disposition, is to take these things for bird bullets that you deem cannon bullets. There is no slander in a loud fool, though all he do but rail. And nor no railing in a known dis no discreet man, though he do nothing to prove. Now Mercury and do thee with leasing, for thou speakest well of fools. <laughs> Madam, there is at the gate a young gentleman much desires to speak with you. <sighs> the Count Orsino, is it? I know not, Madam. He's a fine young man and well attended. Who my people call him in delay? Sir Toby, Madam, your kinsman. Fetch him off, I pray you. He speak nothing but madman. Fie on him. Go you, Malvolio. If it be a suit from the count, I am sick or not at home. What you will to dismiss it. 
it matters to deliver from the courtesy of it so fearful. It alone concerns your ear. I bring no overture of war, no taxation of homage. I hold the olive in my hand. My words are as full of peace as matter. Yet you began rudely. What are you? What would you? My rudeness I have learned from my entertainment. What I am and what I would are as secret as made in head. Your ear, divinity, to any others, profanation. Give us the place alone. We shall want some, we shall hear this divinity. Now, sir, what is your text? It is from Orsino's bosom. <coughs> in what chapter of his bosom? <coughs> to answer by the method in the first of his text. I have already, I have read it already. It is heresy. We have nothing more to say. Uh, good man, let me see your face. Have you any commission from your lord to negotiate with my face? Placed in contempt. 
Farewell. Thank you. 